Welcome all to the Weekly Outlook. Boone here from Elliot Wave Pro. Wishing everyone a uh, happy Easter. Celebrating with your family. So, on to the Weekly Outlook with uh, DXY. So, nothing's changed on the daily. We got that WXY, X, Z down, bullish divergence. We're looking for that ABC, at least an ABC up. Now, it's not going to follow these arrows. I'll put these arrows on at the start of the year for the uh, yearly outlook. So in here, we've got a WXY looking for that XZ and then probably a larger correction and then another five up, at least to this 55th and possibly go and break that top like I've been saying. Um, on the H4, Nothing's changed again. If you follow me, we got that one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm looking for that five up, one, two, three, four, five. But we do have bearish divergence here already. So we have to be careful of that. Um, yeah, we've got to be careful of that. Um, there's no real setup on the H4. It's not giving why this trend line here holds. You know, like I said, you, you can look for buys why this trend line here holds um, up to this 100 fib. Look for that 100 fib. But it's getting dangerous now. You know, your trade was in here for that. Um, so we're getting that bearish divergence, so it's getting riskier. On the H1, like I said last week, we were looking for that Z up. We got that Z up, and now we're getting the larger correction. So it's pretty much playing out, out how I said last week. Most of the pairs, we got that Z up, so, and then we're getting this larger correction. So we'll probably get a, another one down in here before we get another five up. Um, yeah, what... The only way you can really trade this now, if you're looking for the buy, is a break out of this trend and then a buy set up in here to buy. But I dare say we, we've got a little internal A, uh, W, X, Y, X. So I'm looking for a little Z down in here, possibly down to the trend line and then more upside. So we can come down to this 50 fib. Um, but then we'll probably be breaking this trend line. So you really have to be careful. You want that, if it does break the trend line, you want the break above it and then the bullish flag to buy. There's no real buy or sell setup on it. It, it is giving a little bullish setup on it here, but um, I'll go down M15. I wouldn't take it. Um, well, you can take it because I think this one broke the low. So you are getting a little a flag, uh, a little flag in here, you know, that you probably could take, but you definitely want to be a break even at the break of that top because I'm looking for that uh, Z down. Um, but you can take take it and um you know you never know it, this could be the bottom of the correction so au h1 we never got anywhere near that 100 fib this is still looking rather corrective though we have broken the, out of this trend and we do have that bearish divergence like i've been saying you follow me um, so if we go down to the H4, looking for this Y down. So we got a W, X, and I'm looking for that five down. Now, this one here, I don't think we have bullish divergence. 
No, we don't have bullish divergence. So we may be looking at a correction this size here before we get that Z down. So on the H1, so like I said, most of the pairs, we were looking for this Z down. We got that Z down last week, and then we were looking for uh, the buy setup. Now you're getting a buy setup in here, so you can look for that. Um, we do have that bullish divergence now. So you're getting a bullish sort of a setup in here. You can look for that buy, at least to the 100 fib. Um, I'd be taking half off at that 100 fib. not really we don't know where this wave is going to end but you you're targeting that 100 fib you definitely want to be at break even at that 100 fib even take half off at the 100 fib right so so if you got this z down last week you've done well and we're getting that buy set up this week so um i hope you'll get it and um yeah just remove that I might turn it to H1. EU, again, I'll go to the daily first. So we never got to that 100 fib with the C up and we got that bearish divergence. We've got that trend line break on the H4, nothing's changed again. Like I've been saying for ages, you know, those that follow, one, two, three, one, two, three, and I'm looking for that five down. Looks like we'll probably only get the three down because we're getting that bullish divergence. So we're nearly getting across up here as well. We're not, nowhere near that 100 fib. So, yeah. But if we go back to the daily, sorry, I should have pointed this out. So on the daily, we got, we don't have any bullish divergence. So we're getting a W, X, Y, X, Z. I'm looking for that uh, X wave and then a Z down. So why this trend line here holds, you can look for cells. I should have pointed that out on the daily. But on the H4, like I said, we're getting that bullish divergence. So wave Y may be over. Then on the H1, like I said last week, we were looking for this Z down. We got that Z down. So if you took that, you done well. This here was quite deep. Um, there was a trade set up in there um, last week after the Z down, this in here. We got a trend line break and this correction in here to go um, up here. But it's not looking very impulsive, but we can look at this as a little W, X, Y, X, and a Z. But we need, for that Z, we need the bullish setup and it's not giving a bullish setup. It's more giving a bearish flag here. So we may get another five down here. So we got five here. One, two, three, four, five. So then we got that three up. It didn't get to the 50 fib like I was looking for. After that fifth wave down, I said we will be looking for a correction up to the 50 fib. Now it hasn't got there, but it doesn't mean that it won't. Um, while this trend line here holds, you know, it still can give another one down and then more upside for a WXYZ. At this stage, it's giving this bearish flag here. Um, you can 
look to take it, it is quite risky because on the on the um, H1, we do have that very uh, bullish divergence. So, and we've got that bullish divergence here. So, yeah, if you take it, keep tight stops because it price, like I said, may just come down here and then shoot back up on it. Um, and then probably um, give us that bearish divergence. And then you can look for the trend line break and um, more downside. GU. Actually, I might show the weekly on this one because this is very important. We're at this 100 FIB here on the weekly for an A, B, C. We've bounced off this 100 FIB. Um, while I'm looking, I am looking for this to go and break that low. Because we have a triangle in here, we have a, uh, an A, B, C in here with a triangle, expanding triangle, A, B, C, D, E. So when we have these triangles, it's very important because they mean something because triangles will never be a motive structure. They'll just always be an A, B, C when we get these triangles. So a triangle is very important. That's why I am looking for this to eventually wherever this ends this may not be over but wherever it ends i'm looking for that low to be broken and if we look at the fundamentals you know with um the uk leaving the eu well the uk is only an island like australia uh, australia is the largest island in australia uh, in the world so uk is an island so once it left the UK, uh, once it left the EU, sorry, it's an economy, um, it's not going to be a large economy. So for it to be above the US, the US is a much larger economy. So there's no reason why it won't go and break that low. Um, if you have a look at the Australian dollar, it's around 75 cents or whatever, you know, um, well under parity. So there's no reason why this can't drop and go and break that low. Um, looking at the fundamentals, and especially with this triangle here, so I'll just point that out, and we're at that 100 fib too, remember? So on looking at the daily, we've got this, um, we've got the bearish divergence. We can look at this, as a possible flat, like I said last week, for more upside to finish off that uh, W1 wave C. We don't know if that wave C is finished yet. There's, you know, um, there's no confirmation that the weekly wave C is over. So we have to look in here to see what we're going to get. Um, whether we're going to get, whether this is the top here to go and break that low or we get another one up and then more downside then the downside. So we go to the H4. We didn't get, we got a W, X, Y. We didn't, we don't have any bullish divergence. And we never got to this 100 fib. And like I said, why this trend line holds, you can look for your cell setups. It's starting to give a bull flag in here. Um, if we go down to the H1. So H1. Like I said last week, this is one of the pairs that didn't give that W, X, Y, X, Z. Like uh, it never gave a setup for a Z down. Um, so looking for this larger correction. Would, this was your trade in here. Um, or if you went down to the large time frame, you actually got a little setup in here as well. But this was your trade here. Um, for an A, B, C, at least an A, B, C. And this may turn into a, like, um, a W, X, Y, 
x, z. So um, you can sort of look for buys because we don't, like I said, on the weekly, we don't know if that's over. And on the H4, um, we never got to that 100 fib and we're breaking this trend line. So um, you can start to look for the buys. On the, this really, this was really your setup here. If you miss this one, because we've nearly broken this top, um, you still can look for the buys. You want to be a um, more experienced trader because we got a deep correction here. We, we come back to the 78.6. So more than likely, this is just a flat, regular flat correction. And then we come down and break the low. So if I draw that 100 fib, So we're nearly at that 100 fib. So if you've missed this trade, this trade, if you're on this trade, you'd be at break even. Um, you know, your first target would be that 100 fib. Your second target would be that 161.8. You can look for the you know, little flag in here. Um, you definitely want to be break even at that 100 fib though. Because it price can come down and, and and break that low. So keep tight stops if you are trading this um, to the upside. For the downside, there's no real bearish setup on it unless you're looking at this as a flag here. Um, we didn't get a real decent impulse down yet. So ideally, I'd like to see it go up to that 100 fib, give a nice impulse down, then a bearish setup to short. Or if you're looking for that upside, well, now you, if you've missed this one here, um, yeah, you can look for the buy here, but um, yeah, it hadn't got the risk reward. And you, on the daily, so again, this one never hit the 100 fib either. But we got that bearish divergence and we got this trend line break, like I've been saying for ages. There was this nice bearish pattern in here um, for that. If you got that. H4 still aren't down to that. Um, we're looking at W, X, Y, X, Z. So I'm looking at this as a, a uh, an X2 at this stage um, to negate that we need that breakout and bullish setup to confirm that this is all the correction. We don't have any bullish divergence. So looking for this X2, then a Z down. Go down to the H1. Now, this one here. I was looking for that Z down last week as well. If we have a look here, it didn't actually break that low. It didn't quite break the low for the wave Z. But um, this is looking corrective. An A, A, B, C. Got a very deep correction because that wave z didn't play out we got a very deep correction so i'm just looking at this as an, an a b c as a uh a flat correction um but when we look at this on the h1 this is looking very bullish we got a nice impulse up here And we're getting a little flat in here. So you can look, put a buy stop just above the top there. And if you get triggered, well, that'll be your stop loss. Um, to go up to the trend line, 
Um, when you get to this H4 trend line, you really want to be a break even because we may get a bounce off of that and get more downside. But yeah, it's a shame that this Z down didn't quite break that low. Um, would have been a better setup, this one. But this is looking nice. You can um, definitely trade that um, if you're looking to trade this pair. I think there are better setups though um, than, than trade this. I mean, it, it does look really nice, but um, yeah. UY on the daily. So we're getting closer to that 100 fib. Prices keep on pushing up. Um, it's getting risky now because this was just set up in here. I put put that trading view idea out here um, for this CR. So you don't really want to be buying up here. Um, for the sell, I put out a sell on trading view up here. Um, there was a nice sell to go and break this low. Well, that low didn't get broken, but you still, you know, got that five down. And I don't know that's probably uh, a bit over 800 pips, eight, 900 pips down to here. So you didn't lose any money on that trade, even though it didn't go and break that low. And this one here, well, if you got in around here or something, you know, um, you'd be up you know, 700 odd pips and you still got a couple of more hundred pips to go to that hundred fib. So um, it gets risky when you start to buy up the top. Um, this was your trade in here for this. Um, H4, like I said last week, we got this extended wave. Um, in a wave Y, I'll just zoom out a bit so you can see it. So we got this W, X, Y, X, Z. I'm looking for that X2 and the Z up, possibly up to that 100 fib. We got that internal, well, um, extended wave Y. So we've got a W, X, Y, X, Z in here. This still doesn't look over. This is looking very bullish up here. Um, we're getting a flag up here. We do have that bearish divergence on the H4. So like I said, it's starting to get risky to buy. Last week, I think we were in here somewhere and I said we, you can look for that buy. Um, and even in here when we got that trend line break, in here, this was your buy here or you could have got the, this one here. Once you start to get this, um, you know, we're getting a correction here. So you definitely can look for the buy. Um, if I get, because on the H1, we've just got one move up. We've got a nice correction in here and we're getting a little bullish flag in here. So you definitely can look for more upside. Um, I doubt if it will get to the 100 fib. You definitely want to be a break even at the top of that because you will be getting that H1 bearish divergence. Um, but yeah, you can, you know, if you're more experienced trader, keep tight stop losses um, if you're going to buy this because, you know, like I said, we're getting to a top. But there is still quite a bit of room up to that 100 fib. So, you know, um, I'll just put that on there so the h100 fib and the daily 100 fib are pretty much lining up around the same spot I, I i'll have my doubts if it does get to that 100 fib in this in this wave y because i'll be looking for that larger uh x2 before it gets up to that 100 fib. But you can look to take that, um, this little flag in, if I zoom in, you can see we haven't broken out of this trend line, but we're getting a little bullish flag in here. So you can look to take this, uh, move it to break even as soon as that top gets broken, because this can just break that top and then give you that larger 
correction in the X2 and then give you that larger Z up. Um, but yeah, you can take that. Um, we've got a nice correction in here. So we've got the H1 correction, so you can look to buy it. Um, UCAD, I'm really liking. On the daily, oh, sorry, we're on the U Sheffy. Sorry, we're on the Swissy. So this one's playing out nicely too. We got that nice, I was looking for that A, B, C for a running flat and possibly go and break the low. We're up to this 100 fib now. So you have to start to be careful too, um, you know. Your trade was down here, you know, for this. Your, your buy setup was down here for the daily C up. We're nearly at that 100 fib, very close to it. Hasn't quite hit it, but. So if we look at H4, sort of like a uh, UY, we got this possible extended wave a w x y x z up here we're getting that bearish divergence so buying up here is not you know it's risky um and then we get that w x uh sorry so we got that internal or um extended wave y so we've got a w x y x z in here similar to um U Y and then we get that W X Y X Z finish off that move, but we are at the end here, and this isn't looking as as good as that U Y. If you're going to trade that X two up, I'd be trading the U Y and not the um, Sheffy. A lot better structure. If it, Go down onto the H1. It's looking bearish. Um, we can look at this as a flat here, as a like an A, B, C up. You really only want to be buying above that top. We do have possible bull hidden here, so. Yeah, it, it's risky. You really can only buy above that top. So if you were looking to trade this, you'd put a buy stop just above here or you might get a little bullish flag in here um, to buy that. I'll put the 100 fib on. So the 100 fibs up here, um, you know, that's where you'd be targeting if you're looking to take this flat. Like I said, it, it's got, you're buying it up at a top, so it, it's, it's risky, you know. But there is a structure there, so you can trade it, you know. There is this structure here, so you can look to buy it. If we go down, it's looking really corrective. Um, see, for the buy, you really want to buy above that top because this can be just an A, B, C up here for more downside. So if you get a break below this trend line, get a break of the trend line, well, you can look for the short. And possibly because we're at the, the 100 fib, we're nearly at that 100 fib on the daily. So this can go and break that low for a flat, for this running flat here, bearish running flat. So you got this. So it's getting risky to buy up the top. You know, like I said, you, you, your first trade setup was down here for that buy, for that daily. Now on the H1, it's it's really risky 
you know, I'd be more inclined to look for the cell because we're getting that um, bearish divergence and we've got that possible structure on the daily. But if you want to buy above that top, risk risk it and um, you know, you definitely want your sell stop. If, if this gets triggered, if you put a buy stop above here and that gets triggered, you know, well, this would be your, your stop loss. You really have to keep tight stops if you're looking for the buys. Um, Cause this can just go up here, break that top, give you bearish, more bearish divergence. We've already got bearish divergence. They give you a little bit more bearish divergence and then fall over, give you that correction for a sell. Like the larger impulse is gonna to be to the downside now because we've already got the daily impulse up. So the larger impulse is going to be to the downside. You cat I'm liking. Um, this one here, we're not down on the daily. We're not down to this 150. There's still plenty of room down to the 150, but we've got a lot of bullish divergence here. This one still hasn't broken out of this trend. So I really don't want to miss this. But when this buy happens, we don't want to miss it because we're looking for that 50 fib retrace, like at least the 50 fib retrace. So you don't want to miss this when it happens. Um, on the H4, like I said last week, looking at this as an A, B, C, possible A, B, C here. It's bounced off this 100 fib now. It hadn't quite, I think last week we were around here somewhere and it hadn't quite hit that 100 fib. I'm not really interested in the cell, like I said last week. Um, you can take the cell to go and break that low. But as soon as that low gets broken, we're going to get that bullish divergence. So then we'll get that larger, correct, uh, larger uh, daily correction. This flat here, you, you, there's no reason why you can't trade it um, you know, to go and break that low. But um, yeah, let me move that. So we're right at that 100 fib. We've bounced clean off that 100 fib now. This here, last week, we got this, we got the Z up and we had that bearish divergence. And then we got this, an A, A, B, C in the wave B. And I was look, looking for this C down and we got that C down. Um, but then we're getting this. This is looking like a flat. So last week I said, we'll get that, we could can get that C down and then another five up. Like another five up like this. And that is still possible. But now that we're looking at this, um, this is looking more corrective in here because this can be a flat in here. Um, an A, A, B, C for your running or expanding flat and then more downside. So the safest way to trade this now is to put a sell stop there. If it goes up and breaks that top, well, it negates that, that flat, um, possible flat. So because we've already got this move up, it's unlikely, if this isn't a flat, it's unlikely to come down, tag you, and then go back up. It would be more than likely to go A, B, C, down to the 100 fib, you'd be at break even. So if it did go back up, it'd take you out of break even. Um, that's how I'd be trading this. If you're looking for that C down, the larger, uh, the larger flat to go and break this low, um, that's how I'd trade it. I'd, I'd put a self stop in here. That's the safest way. I mean, you can look for a self set up, you know, up here somewhere, uh, you know, it goes up here and gives you a bare setup. Well, you can look for it up here too, but the safest way is that break of that bottom.
at this stage. Um, so, like I said, I'm not really interested in the sell because I think the larger impulse is going to be to the upside. So, even if this does play out, gives you that sell, breaks that low, then we're going to get that larger correction on the daily. That's what I don't want to miss. I don't want to miss that large, the larger impulse um, instead of taking the crumbs at the end of a move, you know. I mean, there's no, no reason why you can't because you do have the structure there. Um, but yeah, it's up to you. For the buy, you really want the bullish setup. There's no bullish set up on it at this stage. If you get the bullish set up, I'll be taking because I'm only looking for the bullish setups. I'm only looking to buy this because we've got all that bullish divergence on the daily. So I'm not going to trade against that, um, you know. So, you, uh, GY on the daily. We've got heaps of room up here still to be 161.8. We're at a top though. <laughs> so this can give this X2 at any time. Uh, on the H4, we had this, this correction in here, like I said last week. We got this correction or the week before. To go and break that top. Now we're getting bearish divergence in here. So it starts to get really risky. You know? There still is room up to that 161.8, but there's no, you know, it, the price doesn't have to go to these fibs. These are just, um, Fibs are just a guideline of where price can get to in a particular wave, you know? And in a wave Y, we're looking at that 161.8. Doesn't mean it gets there. Sometimes it only gets to the 123.6, which is probably around here somewhere. Um, if I put that on there, we'll have a look. Yeah, so it's even broken out of that 123.6. So I bounced off the 123.6, come back down to that 100 fib, and we're getting more upside, and it's broken above that 123.6. So, you know, it can get to that 161.8, but we're getting to the end of a wave Y. So, you know, it starts to get risky. This in here, was sharp and it didn't really give a nice setup. This was a little setup in here. You got a little bullish flag in here um, to get this. We got a larger correction there. If you took that break of that top last week, um, you know, you'd be at break even on this one. I said last week, if you take this, be at break even at the break of that top because we'll start getting bearish divergence. This is still one wave. So the only way you can really trade this now is to wait for that correction. You need, wherever this ends, wherever this wave here ends, you need that H1 correction before you look for more buy setups because it's getting too risky to buy flags up here. Um, your best to wait for the correction, um, for a H1 correction before you look for the buy. Because wave Y on, on the daily can come to an end at any stage. So you need that H1 correction to give you more confidence that we're gonna get more upside. That's how I'd play this. Um, I wouldn't go buying flags up here, but there was a little flat here. If we have a look at this. You know, there was a little flat here. Come up, would have taken you out at break even. If you brought that flat at the break of that top, it comes out, takes you out at break even. So it'll probably just do this all the time now until this wave's over. 
and then it's going to give that larger H1 correction. If it gives a H1 correction, well, then you can look for more upside. Yeah, you, you, because if it's an end of wave Y, wherever this finishes, it may just fall over and then give you a bearish setup. And then you can look for that sell for the X2 on the daily. You know, you'll get that five down in the wave A and three up and then another five down. So really, if you're not on this one here, this trade setup that gave you last week, you really, you know, you're pushing your luck buying these because you'll get a lot of break even trades. It could be quite choppy. So I'd suggest to stay out of this one until we get a decent setup. EG is looking really nice. I don't want you to miss this one either because, you know, this is going to be quite good. We've got this, we're just about down to this 100 fib now. So eventually we're going to get this A, B, C. Now, like I've been saying for ages, if you follow me, wave B, we're in a wave B. So wave B can go and break this low. It doesn't matter if the wave B breaks this, this low over here. Because then we know we're still going to get this C up, but it's just going to be a running flat more likely for more downside. Um, I mean, it, it's probably better if we do, if it does go and break that low, because then we know we can buy and then we can look for the sell. It gives us uh, all these waves, you know, because if it does break this low, well, this is definitely an, an A, B, C to go and break the low and then gives us another one up for the flat for more downside. You know? So either way, we're only looking for buys. We're at a low. I'm only interested in the buy. H4, we had that flat. I was looking at this as an A, B, C in here. That failed. Then we got another one down, breaking that bottom in the B wave. So then we know that because the low was broken, we're going to break that low again. And that's what happened last week. It hadn't quite broken the low. I think we're in here and it hadn't quite broken the low of wave B. It broke the wave, low of wave A, but never the low of wave B. And I said, well, last week I said, you know, we'll probably get more downside. And we, we did get more downside. We're very close to this 100 fib. You know, I wasn't interested in the sell. Even up here, I wasn't interested in the sell. I'm more interested in the buy. So now on H1, are we coming to an end? See, I have to be very careful because this here can be like an A, A, B, C, get a flat in here and then more downside. So we really need to wait for a good setup. Like you can buy just above this top. We've got an impulse up here for an A, B, C, or sorry, an A, A, B, C in here for a flat in here. So you can put a buy stop there, have your stop loss if you're triggered there and look for that upside um, for that daily see up and i probably will do that because i'm looking even if it just goes up here and takes me out gives me that a b c it more than likely just be a break even trade for me and then we'll get a break of the low and then i'll wait for another buy setup I'm not really interested in the sell setups um so i hope that makes sense um i will probably put that buy stop there if, it, if I get triggered, um, more than likely just be a break even trade, get that C up, break even, or even if I take a hit, I don't really care if I take the hit because eventually I'm going to get that larger C up and whatever losses I take, small hits, 
I take on it. I'm going to eventually get it all back and plus a lot more with that daily C up. So just be careful of this. You know, there is that possible flat here. May turn into expanding, we don't know. Um, but I'm gonna look for that buy. I'll take every single buy setup I see on. Not really interested in the sales, like I've been saying. Uh, gold. Gold. We're looking for that X2, like I've been saying right over here. Um, this was very deep. Like I said, this is very deep in here. We've got a very deep correction in here. So more than likely, we're just going to get, well, I should point out on the daily first, but like I've been saying, we're, we're in this channel here. So more than likely, um, we're always looking for that 38.2 in the X2 um, or even the 50 fib. This one here can even go further up to that top of that uh, trend line in the channel. Can go up to here and then give the Z down because we're looking for this larger correction. So uh, this could take quite a long time. This can just uh, come up here, something like this, and then give you that Z down. Um, it's going to be choppy, but it's given a nice impulse up here. Um, on the H4, we're only really looking, because we've got such a deep pullback um, in a wave B, really only looking for a C up. Um, really only looking for this as an A. Well, actually, we can change this now. Well, it doesn't really matter because we can look at this as an A, B, C here for the flat. Or you can have your A up here and then you've got an A, B and C in here in the B wave. It doesn't really matter how you look at it. The counts don't mean much. Um, they just give you a guide of where you are on the in the structure, but you still have to look at the structure. Um, it's more of looking at the structure than it is the count because your count's never going to be right 100% of the time. It's more of a structure. Like in here, I was looking for an A, B, C, and that was it. It never broke that top. So that structure failed. You know, for this this flat in here, never broke above the top for a, a, an A, B, C, but it was always still a B wave, even though that top didn't get broken. So the structure sort of changed as a like I'm looking at it as an A, B, C in here, and then we get that C up. Um, like I said last week, you know, I'm looking for that C up. Um, should draw the 100 fib. There's not going to be much left in it. So, so this is going to be the test to see where this C wave ends. Does it end at the 100 fib here? Does it end at the 161? Does it? Uh, sorry, the 123.6, or does it go to the 161.8? That's why I use these fibs, um, because it gives me an idea of what sort of structure we can get. Because if it just comes up to this 100 fib, uh, you know, we can get more downside from there, down back down to the trend line and probably get a bounce off the trend line and then get more of the upside to the, to the top of that daily trend line. So now, there was a there was a beautiful setup on this. I'll show you. Uh, I'll go to the H one first. But I took this this C up um, on the M fifteen. We got a beautiful correction in here. But on the H one, 
we just got one wave up. So basically, you have to wait for a flag. You, you have to wait for a flag. Here was a setup in here. Um, there was a little flat in there um, for my upside. If you took that, you'd be at break even. Now you really have to wait for that correction, um, a flag or a correction. And you pretty much have to go down to the lower time frame. We haven't quite broken that top there. So at this stage, there is the possibility of bare hidden, but I, I dare say that this top here will be broken. Um, this one over here, get rid of that bare hidden and then wait for that larger correction, the H1 correction, and then look for more upside um, if you're not already in it. I'll just show you this, this trade that we're in. This was it here. Um, you know, like I said, if you're missing these trades, you know, you can always join the group and, and, and you'll get a lot of these setups. But we took this, break that top, and we got this. So, yeah, um, once you see a structure, like on that H4 structure, once you see this, you can look for those buys on any time frame. On any lower time frame, you can look for those buy setups and trade in the direction of the structure that you see. Um, so, yeah. WTI on the H on the daily. We've got an A B C bounced off that hundred fit. We got that bearish divergence. So, like I've been saying for a long time, you know, we're looking for that larger correction, probably down to. The, I'm looking for that not at least down to the 55th because we don't know how low it's going to get. We're still in this uptrend. So while we're in this uptrend, we can still look for buy. But after after you get an ABC, you, you're anticipating the market to get down to the 55th, ideally to get down to that 55th. So when I say the 55th, it doesn't mean price will get there. Um, we expect it to get there, but doesn't always do what we want, you know. But um, we've got that cross down now on the MACD. We've got the bearish divergence. This here is looking very corrective for more downside. So if you look on the H4, we've got this. A, B, looking for the C down. Actually, I should put this as the internal because that's what it is. And then we've got that larger So we're looking for this. Um, Now, I said this last week, um, I'll go down to the H1. So I said that last week, we've got that W, X, Y, X, Z, A, A, B, C in here for the running flat. So we were looking for that C up. Now, it's getting risky to buy because we've already broken this top we've already broken the top of wave a and that's all wave c has to do so we've broken that wave c so this can fall over at any time um ideally it gets to this 100 fib it gives a nice self set up in here and we all get that a b see and does it get to the daily 50 fib well we'll have to see but we should be at least looking at this daily trend line um does it does it break through the trend line and then give a correction for more downside down to the 50 fib on the daily or does it bounce off this trend line give us a bullish setup 
Well, we'd have to wait, but we don't want to miss this. You know, we don't want to miss this trade here. If it gives us a setup to sell it, we want to sell it because we've got the structure. We've got this A, B, C. So it's not really, it's risky to buy now. There may be something on the M15 to buy it. See, you're sort of getting a bullish setup here. See, I think this is the low over here. Um, oh, no. You are getting a bullish setup here, like a flag. Like, if you get a little flag in here and you really, you know, it's only a scalp, you know, to buy up to that 100 fib. Um, yeah, and you might get lucky at maybe the end of the move and it goes up and breaks the top, but um you know it gets risky you can take it um if you're more experienced trade it keep tight stops i'd definitely be taking half off at that 100 fib um i'd be definitely taking half off there and yeah because the second half would probably just be a break even because it's most likely just come up to the 100 fib and take you yeah, out you know and then you'll get a bear set up um to sell Bitcoin, nothing really on the daily. We're still in this uptrend. So eventually we got this W, X, Y. Looking for this X2 on the daily. We're getting um, internal bearish divergence between this top and this top. And if this top goes up there, we're going to get even more bearish divergence. Bear. Internal. It's only internal divergence. But... Um, on the H4, oh, I was looking for that Z up ages ago, a few weeks ago. I was looking, we got that little bullish setup in here. Looking for that Z up, it never broke that top. So, like I said last week, we can look at it as an A, B, C in here for a flat to go and break this top. Uh, like I said last week, we had that trend line break and we had this in here so if you took that you know you'd be at break even or you should be at break even if you took that um you definitely want to be you know it's 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 risky because we are on the daily we are getting all that internal bearish divergence and eventually we are going to see a larger correction um like i showed on the daily but we do have that structure in here because we only got three up in here. So we can look at that structure as an A, B, C for an A, B, C. It's getting risky to buy this though. Like we already have that bearish divergence on the H4. Internal bearish divergence on the daily. So eventually this is going to fall over. Um, but if you look at, like this was just set up in here, like if you was going to buy for that to break the top, um, you know, this was just set up here. Now it's starting to get risky. We got this in here. So we can look at that as a flat in here for more upside. Put, you know, the safest way is to put a buy stop just above there. This, if it gets triggered, this is your sell stop. Uh, your stop loss, sorry, not your self stop. Your stop loss. And yeah, you definitely want to be a break even at the top of that wave. Why? Because, you know, we're not, we're getting bearish divergence on here. Um, yeah, but it still can go up. Um, so if you want to take that, that'd be the safest option if you're looking for that buy. At, at this stage, there is no sell set up on it. But if you do get a sell set up, as soon as this top gets broken, you know, wherever this wave here ends, and then you get that sell set up, you know, you definitely don't want to miss that because we're at a high, you know. So, um, you know, you can look for the buys as well to go and break that top and possibly up to the 100 fib. Um, but, yeah. And so you got a buy set up there that you can look to buy 
if you're keen, you know, um, I'll be more interested in uh, looking for the sell though when we're up, up at these tops. SBX. SBX. This is your 100 fib. We're way off that 100 fib still. Um, last week we were looking for more upside, but we had that bearish divergence. I should zoom in a little bit. So we do have that bearish divergence in here. Um, but there was a good sell, buy set up on it last week. Um, so we had three down in here. Got the breakout of the trend line and then we had this little flat in here. So if you brought above that top or wherever you got in, you know, you got this. So we're looking for that 100 fib, like I said last week, A, B, C, up to the 100 fib. So that's your first target. You'd definitely be, I think even last week I said, you know, be at the break even at the top of here, you know. Um, so we've got that spice set up on it. On the H1 now, what are we getting? Getting bearish divergence. So it's really tricky to start buying. You don't want to be buying up here. This was your trade here. You know, this was your correction here. I think we do have bearish divergence. So we've got that bearish divergence. That still can change. Um, see, if... If price keeps on pushing up to this 100 fib, more than likely we'll lose that bearish divergence and then we'll get um, divergence in a wave X. So we get a W, X, Y, X, Z. And then we get the bearish divergence. So at this stage, we do have bearish divergence. We're looking for a bit more upside though, up to that 100 fib. And even on the daily, there's, you know, there's more upside on the daily as well. So I'll get the, what have we got here? So we still aren't at the 100 fib on the H1. Uh, H1. We still aren't at that 100 fib yet. So we want to see where this gets to. Um, if it, if we just get to this 100 fib and we get a bounce off that 100 fib, more than likely that bearish divergence will hold. And then if you get a bear set up, you can look for the sell. If this keeps on going up to say the 161.8, we'll more than likely we'll get the Z up, X2 and a Z. So at this stage, You've missed the trade, really. Like, um, this was just set up here to buy or in here, you know. So, really, you have to wait to see where this goes before you can jump in it again. The thing with trading is less is more. Like, the less trade you take, the more you, you get. Because if you start looking for flags and and stuff up here, you start losing, you know? Whereas if you just take the trade, the structure that you're looking at, take that one trade and hold it, instead of looking for, you know, little flags there, get out, a little flag here, get out, you start losing money doing that. You want to take the trade, take the one trade and uh, and and take it. Um, instead of, you know, getting out and getting in, getting out, getting in, that's where you start losing money. So that's when I say less is more, you know, that's what I mean. And it takes years to not learn that because most people have heard that, but to put it into practice, um, that's 
what you have to do to make money. That's how you make money. Less is more. Um, if I go to just an example, I'm getting a little bit off track here, but it's very important. Um, G, G Y is a perfect example, and it's proven because I've got, you know, I've put these trades out on Trading View. Trading View, I'll put out a sell up here for the bear hidden to go and break that low. Like I said, it didn't go down and break that low. But even if you took that and you're looking, and as soon as you got that bullish divergence here on the wave Z, you take the profit. Well, you're looking at, you know, at least 800 pips just in that one trade. And then you, then we're looking for that buy. I'll put that buy set up on trading view just around here. Now it's, it's up around, I don't know, 700 odd pips. So these are the trades you don't want to miss when you're at the top of it when you're at the tops like so less is more if you're holding these you know there's over a year from from there to here it's probably well april to april so you know probably a little bit over a year so you've only taken two trades and um you've got what seven fourteen fifteen hundred pips just on the one pair instead of instead of risking all this like trading in here and you know selling that and then get take out break even and then it goes up here and then you know you're looking for a buy and you miss the sell and all that sort of stuff you know this is how you trade like you look at the daily that's why i put the daily time frame on here you know on these weekly outlooks because we're trading the the higher time frames in the direction of the higher time frames that's what you have to do um so you know um i'm getting a little bit off track but that's what i mean by less is more and you will once you start to make money you will realize that less is more because you'll only be making money if you're taking less trades <laughs> basically well not basically that's how it, that's how it works so um getting a little bit off track there but so onto the dax on the daily we got that bearish divergence um last week we were looking for that buy even though we had that bearish divergence because we got a nice setup in here on the h4 so we're getting bearish divergence now so you sort of start wanting to look out for it you know like on that daily on that daily we're starting to get this like i showed a few weeks ago we're getting this you know sort of rising wedge here so it can sort of just creep up to the 100 fib you know so it's starting to get risky because we do have that bearish divergence we got this nice correction in here. So we were looking for the buy, like most of them. It sort of didn't give much of a buy setup. We gave a gap in them on the Monday. But if you got any sort of buy setup, you know, um, yeah, this is now if you're looking for the buy, yeah, you really have to. Um, well, on the H1, we got one, two, three, four, five. So we're looking for that larger correction, like I said last week. And then we're looking for that one, two, three, four, five again. So we need, you need, if you're going to trade this now, you need the correction. You need the H1 correction to buy. You got to wait for this H1 correction to buy. You need a buy setup. Or else it can just come up to here and then give you a bearish setup. If you get the bearish setup, well, you can take the bearish setup. So you really need to wait to see what's going on. If you're not in this, I wouldn't be, you know, I wouldn't be um, buying it until you get that correction now, if you're not already on it. So it just you have to wait. The FTSE, so on the daily, I'm looking at this A, B, C. 
So I'm looking for a sell. This in here is looking very bearish. Now, like I said last week, you know, this can go and break that top in a B wave and then give you that C down for more upside. So we might get something like a W, X, Y, X, Z to finish off that X2 on the weekly. But um, if we have a look on the, like a scene last week, we were looking at this. So I said, if you get any bullish setup, look for the buy. Now it looks like it's, it's still um, getting ready for it. It hadn't gone yet, but it looks pretty good um, for that buy setup. If we go in here, this is a very choppy pair. Hard to pick structures on these. But if we have a look in here, this is looking really good. So, so this is looking like a very nice looking flat here. So I'll put the fib on. Give you some target. So again, your first target is going to be this 100 fib. I take half off at the 100 fib, take your second half off at the 161.8. We've got a nice flat in here. It's looking like a nice flat. So you can put a buy stop just above there or um, you sort of missed this one. So you really only now can put the buy stop on. And, and if that triggers, like this is your stop loss and you'll still get that two to one, like, um, because this will be a stop here. So you get one, well, it's probably more just the one to one, but if it goes to the 161.8, well, then you'll get that two to one risk reward. This is looking pretty good though. Um, you've got a nice impulse up, Get a, you've got a nice correction here. This would have been ideal to get this break here because you'd already be at break even because it's broken that top. So it's a little bit late, but um, you still can put that buy stop on. First target, second target. So that's about it this week. Um, like I said, I hope you all enjoy Easter. Um, spend time with the family. 